Yo, what's going on guys, Many here and welcome to Sunday League with Under The Radar FC. Today is one of our biggest games ever because it's our first season in the London Cup. We've never participated in it before. Uh, we beat Catford in the previous round and today we have Kazilamak. I think I said that right. I said it quicker in case I said it wrong, but you know, for, for the rest of the video, I'm calling them Kiz because I, I, I don't wanna just mess the name up the whole time, you know what I mean? But yeah, this is the next round of the knockout stages before the quarterfinals. So whoever wins this is going to the quarterfinals. Anyway, the team for today is as followed. With an injury to John, we have Rilwan jumping in goal for his second UTR game ever. We have Brad at right back. We have Ben and Temi starting at centre back. In the midfield, we have Tolu sitting deepest. We have Eric and Dom playing ahead of him. On the right, we have Sam Bailey. On the left, we have Akin. And through the middle, we have Thomas. On the bench, we have Fred, Temi, Oscar, Reggie and Eze. Morning, boys. Morning. How are we feeling? All good, all good, all good. All good, all good. Boys, big game. Big game, you know, we know what this means for us. You know, London Cup is a cup that we wanted to be in, wanted to play and wanted to play the best. So let's prove that we are among the best, if not the best. Today's a, a huge game for us. But play play with confidence today. Trust, again, week in, week out, I say it. Trust your man in, next to you or in front of you. Because we, we are ball, a ball-playing team. That's, that's what we need to stay true to ourselves today and, and understand that these are going to be aggressive. They're going to try and hit you hard. But we have to, we have to rattle them as well. We have to hit them. Our first 10 minutes is our strongest 10 minutes, and, and I always say this. 110 minutes from the, 110% from the first minute, and there's no, there's no doubt we're in this, boys. boys. Honestly. Like, I want you to, 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 play, to play. Enjoy the game as well, man. Enjoy it today. We don't know anything about them, but that's not um, licensed for us to, you know what, ease into the game. Let's set the tempo, set the pace. Let's, for once, talk about what we're going to do, not what they're going to do. Let's do what we do every week in, week out. But this time, let's hit 80%. None of this 20% slow start. Let's hit them strong. Let them know they're in for a game. This is London Cup. Next round's quarter-final. Yeah? This is a big cup. What they say, big players do big things. But, like Lance said, don't play the occasion. Relax. We've got um, playing your talking now. We've got Ruin at the back who's going to be loud. You're going to hear him no matter where you're playing. Be confident on the ball. Who cares if you make a mistake? That's what football is. I've never gone through a 90-minute game, a 120-minute game, and never made a mistake. It's going to happen. But it's how you react. That's how we win this game, yeah? we got to stick together. Family on three, family on me, everyone in. One, two, three, family! Hey, let's go, boys, let's go. All right, so we are ready for the game. Minute silence complete. Uh, just a reminder to you guys as well, if you haven't already subscribed to the Under The Radar FC channel, go over and subscribe now, please. It doesn't cost you a penny, just the click of a button. But yeah, we are ready to go anyway. Thomas kicks us off, Dom gets it out wide to Bradley. And here we go, UTR looking to get into the quarter-final of the London Cup and show that we could be one of the best teams in London. We have a throw-in from the right, long into the box by Bradley. It misses the head of Ben, Tolu gets his head to it, over the bar, and we for a goal kick. Kiz looking for a break down the left. Bradley and Eric are in the chase. This time, Eric looks to have put in a little challenge there. He's gone to the ground, and he's just gone out for a goal kick too. This time, the ball comes back to Will. Honestly, we got him a kit the size up, and it still looks like it's about to rip. Uh, he throws it nicely out wide to Bradley. He's got Sam ahead of him down the line. Sam has the number five to beat. On the other side, he's got Eric in support. Thomas and Akin arriving late. He goes to ground, that's a free kick. Standing over that free kick is Sam Bailey on his left foot and I don't know what he's done there but she's rolled into the keeper's arms. Ball drops down here to Akin, takes it nicely on his thigh but miscontrols it after that. So he comes down and back only as far as our captain told him. Beautiful touch and spreads it nicely to Bradley. He's got Eric in support, he's got Sam and Thomas in the middle. Goes into the middle towards Sam, it's off his head and it's on to the keeper's palm. He's uh, palmed it over the crossbar. Sam frustrated with that one, he came so close to giving UTR the lead in a very important game. Let's take another look at this. Into the box, off of Sam's head, and the goalkeeper does really well to get on to it. So then, Sam on the corner, better delivery this time. Into the box to Ben's head, and he's just, I think he was in two minds there. He didn't know if he wanted to volley it or head it, and it goes behind. Out wide to this man here, up against Jed, tries to take it in on the left foot, it's blocked. The ball's falling back to Eric, controls it on his left foot, tries to turn, little foul, free kick will take that. Sam over on the right, three kids shirts around him, uh, nice little play between him and Dom, tries to get past the four this time, strong in the tackle, that's good play from him. Uh, Bradley and Dom retrieve possession though, nice little turn again from Dom, and uh, it's uh, 
free kick and I'm attempting to get his hands off them. Ruan has it, unopposed in our half. How's his left foot? Oh my goodness, what about that for a pass? That's supposed to be the weak one. Straight onto Bradley's chest. 58 puts it behind for a corner. Bradley acknowledges what a pass that was from Ruan. Look at him, still tearing out of this, this kit. <laughs> he looks like a banana about to pop, really. But look at that for a left foot pass. Out wide to Bradley. Bradley could have done better with the control. You know what? I just applaud the pass this time. Alright, so we're setting up for this corner. Everyone's uh, trying to get into positions. Forza uh, not letting Thomas get a yard of space there. Sam Bailey on the corner anyway. Looks like another delivery into the box. Sam Ben gets his head to it. Almost scored on his debut last week. This time he gets the goal. A solid header straight past the goalkeeper. No chance for them from that range. And Ben gets his first ever UTR goal. How about that? Right off of that head. Uh, it's Sam into the box. And then Ben getting a good connection in it as well. Goal he had no chance. So then we have the lead that we needed. Uh, number 10 throws it into the 45. He gets it back to the 10. He's opposed by our number 10. Uh, it beats Eric. Puts it through Brad's legs, I think. Goes across the box and he tries to cut back. Ben's there, though. And can he get the second ball? He does. He must be pumped after that goal. He's going to come back here. Maybe on the edge of the box for a kiss. Player to try and strike it. And that's high wide. And yet again, not at all handsome. Eric seems to be having some sort of problem here. I'm not sure if it's an ankle thing. Uh, team uses that opportunity to take a water break. We have a free kick. Sam looks to hit this one. I think it might have caught a little bit of a deflection. Referee thinks so. That's a corner. Sam standing over this corner yet again into the box. This time the delivery is poor. It's straight out for a throw. We've taken that one short. Comes back here to Temi. Tries to get a left foot across into the box. It's blocked and Kiz might have the opportunity to break here. Number 10 taking it over the halfway line. 11 looking to make a run. And uh, real one is going to get to that ball first. Play it out of play. No danger. 58 seems to have a knock there. Doesn't look to be too happy with that one. It's coming back towards our half. Temi all over the 46 and that's going to be a free kick. I think I said 45 before, but sometimes I can't see the numbers. It's in a dangerous area then. Number 11 sizing up, goes with the left foot. He's gone and struck it, but uh, real one gets it second time basket. Meanwhile on the sidelines, I find myself annoying Reggie. A little bit of a futsal match going on here. Oh, oh, oh. And that's why I'm not in the squad. Kids have a free kick. Look to take it quickly. Fours dinked it over to the 10. 10 gets into the box and oh, ho, ho. he's gone to ground there. What do you think? Penalty or no penalty? Comment down below. It looks like it was less of a shoulder barge and a bit in the back. But what do you guys think? Is that a pen or not? This guy here seems to think so. He was fuming. Kids with the ball again. They're growing in confidence, getting back into the game. What a great touch that was from that number two. It comes to this man. He's got too much space on the edge of the box. And he struck it from distance. It's hit the crossbar. And that is a wake up call for UTR. We took too long to close him down. No one got close. He struck it off the crossbar and unfortunately behind them. Tolu on the ball, uh, looking to find a pass. He finds a nice little pass there into Dom and Dom can get out of anything, I'm pretty sure. Look at that, tidy footwork. Brad looking to clear it for us and he does that straight to Dom's feet. Dom sets it to Sam, Sam into Eric. The pass is a little bit behind each other here. Uh, Dom takes over the possession here and he plays it through looking for Thomas. Thomas loses his footing for a moment. Akin keeps it alive, playing it to Sam. Sam through on goal! And I don't know if that was a sliding challenge or a save from the goalkeeper, but they stopped him from scoring somehow. That could have been 2-0 and a good opportunity to double our lead there. Sam comes across, takes a shot, and I, I still can't tell. Back in possession, almost 40 minutes been played. He's got a step over on him, ball roll. He's got them, he's got three shirts surrounding him, and he can't get through. That's good defending from kids. They've worked their way to the edge of our box. Comes to this number 10, uh, takes it onto his left foot, strikes it, good block from Jed. They're growing into the game bit by bit. It comes to the 38 on the edge of our box. He turns out and sees the 11 in a bit of room. He looks to hit it. And it's uh, straight into Rowan Times. A little bit of a 50-50 scuffle for the ball. Uh, Thomas uh, gets it to Dom somehow. Dom sells that guy a cheeseburger. And Dom gets it down the line for Akin. Akin with the back heel for Thomas. Good challenge from the 21. Can we make something of it? Silly foul. Okay. Long ball into our half. Jed misjudges it. Comes to the 46. Temi yet again in a battle with him. And he's uh, shrugged him to the side. Referee doesn't like it though. And he's given a free kick. Number four over this. Decent looking ball into the box. Flicked on by the 10. Only behind. But breaking down the right, Sam up against the number five again, making his way into the box, takes it onto his right foot, cuts it across the box, Thomas has gone to ground, Akin following in behind and it's gone over the bar, but what do you think of this? Could that have been a shout for a penalty? Into the box, it's pretty similar to Tolu, so I guess if he doesn't give one, he shouldn't give the other, so I guess we're even. That could have been a pen though. 
It's coming back towards our half. Ben does what he did for the first goal. He gets his head on it, but that will be the final action of the first half. We go into the break, 1-0 up, and we look pretty good value for our lead, I have to say. Every, I'm not going on to anybody, but if we are 2-0 up, 3-0 up, it's a different game. Yeah. The fact we're 1-0 up, we're giving them confidence. Because in all honesty, yeah, they have done nothing, apart from maybe we're not tracking our man. Hmm. Quickly, just a few things. One thing I've noticed in this we're getting dragged over to one side and we're just leaving the middle quite empty. It's not it's not individuals as a team. We need to we need to communicate that throughout the pitch. Temi, uh, Ben, you lot can see that the most out of everyone. Real, so you can see that too. Just start communicating that going forward because one thing that happens is we go all over and then they just play one clip and it's like we're doing doggies and we're trying to get across. Does that make sense? Another thing, Temi, you don't need to put your arm around him. Just hold him here. Hold him. He's a, he's, a, he's, a, he's a typical number nine centre forward that's going to roll you or he's going to win a foul. And the more fouls you give, the more momentum you give them. Does that make sense? So just have an arm here and then you can put a foot in if you can grab it. That's it. That's all you need to do. Otherwise, he's going to keep winning them fouls and it's just going to cause more danger to our back line and it's, it's going to tire you out a lot more. Into the second half then. Number four trying to ping one out wide and he's lost possession by doing so. Jed's going to pick uh, this one up and take it over the halfway line. He's got Akin to his left. He's got Thomas making a little bit of a movement. Eric getting into the box as well. Akin plays it in there. Sam's left alone. And I don't know how, but he's gotten that wrong. I don't know, maybe he wasn't expecting it to come over the player's head. But you can see he's disappointed with that. 46 holding it up, he's got 58 making an overlap, he finds a little gap through to the 38, 38 with a ball into the box, it's a brilliant ball, number two gets to it, and that was close, that was pretty poor from us to let them in so easily, that could have been 1-1. Aerial ball dropping down for the number 10, Brad does well to get his leg around and win possession for us, Dom does well to get out of that one, and we've got the advantage, 21 can't bring Thomas down either, uh, he's taken it on his left foot and played it to Akin, Akin has Eric ahead, he's got Thomas making a run on the inside, decides to go with Eric, uh, Thomas still calling for it there, Eric tries to cut back and Thomas is Human. That corner goes into the box from Dom towards the back post, head of the player. I have to say one thing I definitely did notice between the number four and the goalkeeper the whole game. They were so comfortable playing at the back, but not this time. Goalkeeper's lost it to Thomas. Thomas sets it to Sam. Sam tries to bend it in the far corner and doesn't get a connection. Kids are trying to build up an attack. 38 into the 46. He's uh, dispossessed by Tolu. He's having absolutely none of it. Dom plays it into his space for Eric. Eric up against number four and the ball gets stuck under his foot, but he retrieves it and that's good strength from him. Nice little ability to turn there as well. And he's got Bradley making the run to his right. Can he use him? Goes with a step over. A bit of a lazy pass, but we keep it alive. Eric puts up possession again. Uh, finds uh, Thomas in a bit of space. Thomas looking for an option. Uh, sees Akin around the corner. Akin with the back heel through to Thomas. Thomas trying to make it there and he's gone to ground. Some of our players claiming a penalty. Referee saying get up that he's got the ball. I think he might be right on this one, but Thomas seems to have hurt himself on that fall. Let's take another look at this. Akin with the back heel. A bit too far for Thomas. He's stretching for it. And uh, the goalkeeper comes out. I think on the fall, Thomas has injured his shoulder somehow. I think he's done exactly what I've done. And it's popped out of place. Let's hope it's got back in. Surely it's gone back in by now. He's still on the pitch. Actually, no. The way that arm is uh, flailing about, it looks a bit suspicious. He's played it through to Sam this time. Sam threw in on goal. The linesman seems to put his flag up. And I think it might just be the right decision. Let's take another look at this. Uh, let's see. So, comes down to Thomas here. Sam making a run on the edge of the box. Great reverse pass from Thomas, but I think the linesman is right. He's just marginally offside. It's quite close, to be honest. Closer than you'd think. Thomas has gone to ground again. I don't think he's getting any better. We look like we're going to have to make a change. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look too good for Thomas. Uh, it looks like a shoulder dislocation to me. And I know I've done it twice now, so it's never a good thing. Hope uh, he has a speedy recovery. For now, Fred's on the pitch. We're looking for Sam now, but the 58 does well to get his body in front. And he sends Dom to Lidl. He's cutting inside, but he's quickly surrounded by UTR shirts. And he's not got many ways to go through or forward there. It's come out to the number 10, though. Runs into Ben, and it looks like he might be able to defuse the situation. Dom sets it to Eric. Eric down the line with Fred. Fred's breaking here from UTR, but his touch is a bit too heavy there. Uh, goes to the four, and he's calm as you like at the back. You can tell he plays with experience. Can we track him in this side, though? Nope, he's just going to get his head up and switch the play. Well done. Eric with the ball away from the 46. Uh, looking for a forward pass, he's caught late as well, we'll get the advantage, referee's seen it for sure, uh, Sam up against the 58, 58 over commits and uh, he's paid the price for it there, Sam looking to get a pass through to Akin there and uh, Akin's just really allowed the goalkeeper to get there, number four with the ball, remember it's still only 1-0 in this London Cup game, uh, 38 out to the 10, uh, 10's pass is short and Brad does well to get there for us, Fred picks up possession and he's just picked by the 38, cynical foul and then Fred turns into HBK, with that anyway we're going to make a change 
Tox is going to make his way onto the field in place of Akin. Uh, Tox hasn't played too much football for UCR lately, but we'll see what he can do today. Meanwhile, there's a bit of a problem over on this side, a bit of back and forth between their dugout and Rowan. I'm not too sure what was said, but it looks to be a little bit heated. Rowan pleading his innocence, referee just telling him the rules. It's a long throw into the box from Tolu. It's over the head of the five. Number four tries to come across. Fred knocks it back to Tox. Uh, Tox sees Sam out wide in space. Sam up against the 58. He's had him on ropes all game. Goes to the right foot, and this time it's Cannon back off the post. So close. <laughs> Eric with the outstretched right foot. Uh, Tolu does well to intervene though. Uh, tries a flip flap there. The flip came out. It comes to Dom. He tries to set himself. He's dragged it. Jed with the ball. Uh, Kiz in a good defensive formation. Jed's uh, giving it away here. And the number 10 can bring it forward for them. Tries to cut back. Bradley does well to recover. Eric bringing the ball forward for UTR. Just over 15 minutes to be played. Waiting for some movement. Sees some. And he's played it down the line. The flag stays down from the linesman. Fred for an on goal. And he's beaten the goalkeeper at the near post. It's 2 0 to UTR. And he rolls away celebration and he should do that is a fantastic finish brilliant uh, vision from Eric just to see the pass in the first place and then Fred providing the finish let's take another look at this Eric just there I don't know what do you guys think offside onside it's a tight one the linesman kept his flag down and he looked to be in a decent position Fred threw in on goal and how is his nerves his nerves are perfect there just near post placed it past the goalkeeper two now. Eric's just tried to switch the play. Goes over Sam. Uh, number 27 there trying to deal with it. He's failed to. It's going to drop to Sam. They're backing off. Sam's allowed to shoot from distance. It's not far off. Jed now uh, plays it to Temi. Another loose pass from him. It's not looking too good this second half. He's uh, got the ball back there. And Temi's been caught. That is a nasty challenge from the 27. It doesn't look too clean, but he doesn't feel any type of way about it. Just walks off like nothing happened. Uh, but we'll take the free kick. Number 38 in possession. Hit a good one in the first half. This one doesn't match up to it. It's over. Thomas is off to the hospital. That shoulder's not looking too good. He is fuming. Done with the ball. Eric in plenty of space. Uh, what can he do? He's got Fred ahead. He's got Sam to his left and Brad ever so active on the overlap. This time Eric's going to cut in. He leans back. He's way over. Over on the far side, inside our half. Temi's been pushed in the back. It looks like we might not get a free kick for this one, but this time it looks like there might be a stamp there. Dom comes rushing over. Uh, very close with Temi. He's not happy with that challenge. And a 46 pleading his innocence. Temi's on the floor, making the most of it as you do but let's take a look at this is there a stamp yes or no what do you guys think is he trying to get the ball or is he not i don't know it'd be a bit cynical to do that in front of the ref but you know anyway let me know your thoughts on it this man's gonna go into the book but just a yellow not long in the game now it's coming back towards ben he flicks it out wide to jed he makes the decision to take it on his chest he's dispossessed by the number two that's a nice pass into the 58 he's got the 46 to his left he's played it across and there it is they've gotten it over the line there temi's best efforts to try and get it over or try and clear it off the line have failed and uh, they've gotten a goal back it's 2-1 and it's game on you can see number two there uh, can definitely feel that it's game on and he's just said that to tolu Jed gets caught in possession. Number two picks up the ball. It's a nice cut and pass across the box. 58 does well to control it. Brad's tried to intercept it. He's come across and the 46 there just applying the finish. That's 2-1 and it is very much game on. With that anyway, we're making a change. It's uh, Jed coming off the pitch. Reggie's going to go on at left back. Eric here trying to bring the ball down. He's miscontrolled it or controlled it. I can't quite tell, but he's got around the number 38. And he's played it through to Fred. Uh, flag stays down again. Tops is out on the left. Tops through on goal. One on one with the goalkeeper. He's taking his eye off the ball and the goalkeeper will gather it. Dom here uh, waiting for a run. Tells Tops to go and make that run forward. Tops up against the number five. He gets past him. He's brought to ground. It's Fred through on goal. Advantage given. Fred, can he lift it over the goalkeeper? He does. And over the bar too. Number nine for Kiz. Uh, cuts inside a bit too easily. He's seen 38 in a bit of room. 38 able to find his pass to the two. Two sets for the shot. Easy for real. We've just cleared our lines. Coming here to Tops. Number four steps in. He's missed the ball though. Dom gives it back to Tops. And this time he's been tripped by the three. Referee looks to play the advantage. And then that's a free kick. Not many chances left in this game for Kiz. But it's 2-1. It's still very, very close. It's flicked on by Ben to the back post. 58. 
with the spectacular and he can't keep it down. Sam with possession for UTR, looking to take it to the corner in the 94th minute. Tries to, he's kicked the corner flag and I think he may have injured himself. Number 58 for Kiz, uh, drops the shoulder on Eric, gets a little bit of jam, gets around it, he's touched his hand, he gets through and he's done well to be honest. Free kick. Can the four deliver? It looks like a decent ball into the box, straight into Rule's hands. Throwing from the number four, into the nine. Lazy touch from him and Sam's uh, nicked in there, he's played it through to Fred. Fred one on one with the goalkeeper, this time he gets it all wrong, it's 2-1 still. That is going to be it though, the final opportunity of the game. We've come out in this one and we head straight into the quarterfinals right now. It's looking good. Uh, UTR, could we go all the way? Let us know down in the comment section below. Still some very good teams involved, but we're definitely up there. Anyway, guys, that is it for some fucking quality. All of a sudden, it's like we're Panic. really taking Sunday League for Sunday League. We're taking the piss, everybody's laughing. We're being a bit too friendly with the opposition, having banter with them, and it cost us. 2-1, all of a sudden, it's a fucking uh, throw the kitchen sink. We're now playing part of the bus, we're not confident on the ball, where everybody's shouting, everybody's got their own opinion. Listen, all you need to do is sh uh, shut up shop, have fun at 2-0. Don't take the piss. The moment you take the piss, you uh, give them a chance again. Their goal came from nothing. Literally nothing. Apart from us being uh, too up our own selves or what the same is, yeah? Way too casual. Defend first. No one cares if you fucking volley it over there to their keeper at 2-0. 2-0 with like 10 minutes left. Game should be done. They should have no will left, no body left. But there was something about us that gave them confidence to think, you know what, we can still win. They're still telling me, you lot, uh, you lot are talking too much, we're going to score. Watch, we're going to win this game. This is how we're going to win this game. How's the team saying that 2-0? It's because we've given them too much respect. See the game out. 2-0. Mm -hmm. Who cares if we missed our chances? That don't matter. But 2-0, game's done. Game, we, we play like... Who's it? We play like old... Wim is it Wimbledon with... Uh, yeah, Vinnie Jones. Vinnie Jones. <laughs> <laughs> we gave them confidence to do... <laughs> <laughs> we gave them confidence to do 50-50s. 50 50s shouldn't be happening. We should be going through them. Boys, boys, boys. Well done for the win, but boys, we, we, almost, we almost let it slip at 2-0. And we would have been absolutely gutted if we went out today. That would make no sense. What, whatsoever. Okay. Um, from me, all, I, all I've got to say is we need to just be a bit more clinical, boys. We are getting the chances now. We are getting the chances. But I put it in the corners. Like, he, 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 the keeper wasn't good enough, bro. Like, let's be honest. Um, as Tony said, at 2-0, we were comfortable. We were, so, we, we were flying this game. These had nothing. We went into this game thinking these are going to be better than we were. Yeah. Am I lying? <laughs> what, what did they give us out there? Nothing. nothing. They it wasn't good enough. Football, they didn't play any sort of football. Their best player was on the side. And, that, and he came on. No, forget that guy. <laughs> <laughs> but, but boys, honestly, we have to be proud of this anyway because we are in to the quarterfinals. To the next round. Love it, boys. So, oh. Yeah, so on to the next round. I don't know who we're playing against. I don't know who we're playing against. It don't uh, I do know who we're playing against. Hammersmith. 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 Yes, Hammersmith. Yes, Hammersmith. Hey, but, uh, well, one thing for sure. If we want to win this competition, we can't afford to play like how we did in the yeah. moments of that game. Because it's going to be intense. Everyone wants to win it. This is the pride of London for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And now this Saturday, Sunday football is a new Saturday football. So we need to be at the levels. The levels that we were in the Dons game. Today our warm-up didn't look as intense as that. But for this game, we should have been more up than the Dons game. Dons game is just a bit of pride. This is a cup on the line. So if we want to win this tournament, we have to make sure we're doing the right things and being more efficient. And like Tolly said, at 2-0, we should be able to be like, all right, cool. Everything just goes. Everything just goes. No taking chances. Yeah, boys, we'll get it. We'll get it. Um, we're basically a new team again. New players. Learn how people play. It don't matter. At the end of the day, we won. People make mistakes, but it's how mm -hmm. we react. Exactly. Next week, we're going to fucking punish whoever we're playing. Just because I know some of you are angry about how we play today. So it's on to next week. Jed, tell me, let's get up. Everyone in, everyone in, everyone in. Everyone in, everyone in. <laughs> What are you saying? What are you saying? Family team. No, no, no. Hey, 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 wait, wait, wait. You want, you want, you want, the old GTR team. One, two, three. Yeah, one, two, three. Yeah, one, two, three. Yeah, one, two, three. Yeah, one, two, three. Anyway, guys, that is it for Sunday League. If you have enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button for us. Subscribe if you're new, and make sure to subscribe to the UTR channel as well. And I'll catch you guys soon. Peace. Destined for greatness Back in school days I was known for my lateness Always wanted more Wouldn't ever try to take less Always been the real guy Never liked the fakeness Never liked the fakeness Always kept it real though Back to back On the track with my little bro Keep our heads high But we work with our heads low Destined for greatness It was known from the get go Known from the get go Written in the stars Pulling all the strings Like we're playing on guitars Putting all the work So we know it's really ours And now we whip it Round in matching cars 